Hello, this is a demo of Stream Diffusion running in Touch Designer with a bit of a custom interface. So um, I should say the whole thing's been made possible uh, by this operator here, which was made by a guy called Dot Simulate. I'll leave his details in the description. Yeah, he's got a Patreon and he's building a bunch of operators for Touch Designer that kind of give access to Stable Diffusion, a bunch of their models and some other AI stuff too. Um, he's always updating things, so yeah, check that out if you can. Um, but I'll show you how this works. Quickly hit the stream button and that's going to open the black window and get us started, hopefully, if all goes well. Um, basically, we've got a couple of channels for prompts and a crossfader between them so we can crossfade between one prompt and another and it's not giving us much yet but if I click on the main input and select a video we've got here just a whoop astronaut dancing in a burning city okay and the models pumping back this interpretation unprompted at this point if I bring both these sliders up this way it will be uh, pretty pretty much the original and going to the left on these sliders is Kind of telling the model to be more imaginative, I guess, but it really helps to add a prompt in so if I go Moss rocks We'll start to get something a little closer To something that might be thought of as interesting and as you can see our little astronaut man shape <laughs> working its way as a moss rock. I'm going to hit record there so we can see what happens. The cool thing going on here as well is we've also got a oh, what's going on? Okay. We've also got a control net which we can access down the bottom and by bringing this in we get a little bit more stickiness for the prompt uh, to retain more of the original image try that crossfader at this point uh, maybe we'll go ivy vines let's try this should turn into some ivy vines soon and yeah it's starting to happen oh my god all right so this is the kind of thing I find you can knock these back down a fair way and crank up the control net for Oh, maybe not that much. Let's try that. We'll try some other prompts as well. Oh, what else do I have? So, like, cotton wool strands. It's great to see the quality of these near real-time models really lift, lift up. Uh, a few months ago I was playing with this only at 512 by 512 pixels. Now we're at 1024 by 1024 with an upscaling going on after that as well. And something that works quite well with this model as well is to say deep shadows. And we can get quite cool looks that way as well. There's a few extra sliders here for seed and things like that, seed noise. Um, but yeah, really it's all just a, a lot of fun. Fungus mushrooms. Things can get a bit spooky and scary. Oh wow. Okay, what else can we do with that? Oh, too far. I want, a, I want a mushroom man that doesn't look like a astronaut. I want it to look like a mushroom. There we go, that's getting close. Uh, there's a little bit of noise generation here too, so we can bring in a little bit of noise over that original, and that ten, can have the effect of adding detail. It's adding a few extra mushrooms by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, 
So there's a lot of fun to be had here. I've got to play with this a little bit more, but um, let's see what the recording was like. Here we go. Okay. So when it speeds up, you get a, a reasonably smooth effect. Yeah. All right, well, that's the demo. Stream Diffusion. Thanks, Dot Simulate. It's really cool.